Tonight, we have some remarkable results in a daring new therapy for brain cancer. Researchers at Duke University have turned the polio virus into a predator that attacks a relentless cancer called glioblastoma. In a 10-month project for 60 minutes, we've been following the patients in this historic experiment. It's a hell of a thing to be told that you have months to live when you're 20 years old. In 2011, Stephanie Lipscomb was a nursing student with headaches. A doctor came in to say that she had this glioblastoma tumor, the size of a tennis ball. I looked at the nurse that was sitting there holding my hand and um, I said, I don't understand, like, what did he just say? <laughs> um, it's kind of hard for me to process. Stephanie became the first of 22 patients to allow a modified polio virus to be dripped directly into her brain tumor. Researchers are finding that the polio starts the killing, but it's the immune system awakened to the infection that wrecks the tumor. Patients like Stephanie usually have months to live, but this is her MRI last August. And there's no cancer in this picture at all. We don't see any cancer, active cancer cells in the tumor at all. Dr. Henry Friedman is deputy director of Duke's Brain Tumor Center. I wonder, of all the trials and all of the theories and all of the treatments that you have hoped for all of these years, how does this stack up? This, to me, is the most promising therapy I've seen in my career, period. Dr. Matthias Gromeyer created the virus using genetic engineering to make cancer its only target. You have been testing this therapy against a number of other cancers just in a laboratory dish. Yes. What have you been able to kill so far? Uh, so we have done this for lung cancers, uh, breast cancers, colorectal cancers, prostate cancers, pancreatic cancers, liver cancers, renal cancers. We probably see this in just about any type of cancer you can imagine. Eleven patients in the study have died, though their lives were extended. The other eleven continue to improve. Our story, Killing Cancer, will be seen this Sunday on 60 Minutes.